I think the moment I was born, literally um, right as uh, my mom gave birth to me, they quickly detected something was off about my, my heart and my heartbeat. How my doctors explained it to me was pretty much one of my valves wasn't fully closing, so therefore it caused a leak. Um, they literally had to go inside and rebuild that valve, and so it would be able to close and, and, and open properly. When, as I got older, the doctors explained to me that the more active I was, the better for my heart because they wanted my heart to build strength again, especially having a surgery like that. So growing up with a congenital heart disease, it was different in the ways of, I knew that I had to be very careful for what things that I was doing physically, but as well as almost maintaining that as a lifestyle. I don't feel like I ever feared, which was great. My parents did an amazing job never making me feel like I couldn't do anything. On the contrary, they constantly supported anything I wanted to do, especially when it came to physical activity. So for that, you know, that's a huge part for like, I thank you to them because I, I never felt limited. What I want every Latina woman to know how important it is about the risk of heart disease is the fact that health is wealth. And for us culturally, we always rely on our faith. We always rely on our family. And we should also rely on how important our bodies are. It doesn't matter if it's ran in your family, if you're the first one like myself to have a congenital heart disease problem. People tie health to money but they don't understand that they should be almost the other way around. Your health is your wealth.